clinical thermometer. In this module, you will learn about a clinical thermometer. Your forehead feels warm. You immediately suspect a fever. To be sure, however, you need to measure your exact body temperature. How would you do that? Well, with the help of a clinical thermometer, also called a doctor's thermometer. A clinical thermometer is usually made of glass and consists of a mercury filled bulb inside at one of its ends and a fine capillary tube that looks like a thread running from the bulb to its other end. There is a small constriction in the neck close to the bulb. A clinical thermometer can measure temperature ranging from 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees Fahrenheit to 108 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a pretty small range. You can get the temperature by reading the scale inscribed on the side of the thermometer. Let us now see how a clinical thermometer works. A clinical thermometer is usually placed inside the mouth for measuring body temperature. Because of the body heat, the mercury inside the bulb heats up, expands and rises to a certain level in the capillary tube through the constriction. The new level to which the mercury rises indicates the exact body temperature. You may be wondering if the reading changes on removing the thermometer from the mouth. Well, it does not. The constriction prevents the mercury from flowing back into the bulb. You can also say that the mercury column breaks at the constriction and is unable to return to the bulb, thus remaining stationary in the tube. To reset the thermometer, you need to swing it sharply many times so as to make the mercury column return to the bulb. Why do you think mercury is used in a clinical thermometer? Mercury is used in a clinical thermometer as well as other thermometers for a number of reasons. First, mercury is a metal and thus it is a good conductor of heat. It starts to expand instantly on placing the thermometer inside the mouth. The expansion can be seen as a rising thread of mercury. Second, mercury remains a liquid at temperatures ranging from minus 39 degrees Celsius to 357 degrees Celsius. Hence, it can serve to measure a wide range of temperatures. At last, mercury does not stick to glass. Though using mercury in thermometers has advantages, mercury-based thermometers are considered risky. This is because mercury is poisonous. In case the bulb or the neck of a thermometer breaks, mercury can leak out into the mouth. This is why mercury-based clinical thermometers have largely been replaced nowadays with electronic digital thermometers or scanner thermometers. In this module you've learnt a clinical thermometer is a thermometer used for measuring body temperature. It is usually made of glass and consists of a mercury filled bulb at one of its ends and a fine tube running from the bulb to the other end. The neck near the bulb has a small constriction. A clinical thermometer can measure 
a very small range of temperature ranging from 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees Fahrenheit to 108 degrees Fahrenheit. When a clinical thermometer is placed inside the mouth, the body heat causes the mercury in the bulb to heat up, expand and rise up the capillary tube through the constriction up to a certain level. The new mercury level indicates the exact body temperature. Mercury is used in thermometers because it is a good conductor of heat and expands uniformly, it can be used to measure a wide range of temperatures and it does not stick to the glass. Mercury-based clinical thermometers have largely been replaced nowadays with electronic digital thermometers or scanner thermometers.